Hey everyone, welcome to Garden Fork. Today, how to build raised beds for your vegetable garden. I've been doing this a couple years now. I figured out what I like and I don't like. I want to show you today how to build one. It's easy. If I can do it, you can do it. Ready? Ready. All right, let's go. All right, quick. While she's getting the ball, build the bed. <laughs> it's that fast. We are going to be using two by tens, uh, 12 foot long, and then two pieces, four foot long. This is a treated lumber. We have a video also about whether you should use treated lumber or not. There's a link below in the show notes for that. Kind of a big discussion. I have my opinion, maybe you have yours. But let's focus on building these right now, okay? So to connect your pieces of your raised bed together, you're gonna to use some kind of brackets. You could also just use a little piece of two by four, but you can use some right angle brackets. Maybe you recycled those, some old shelf brackets, or these are used for roof trusses. They also might be called hurricane strapping in your area. This is in the lumber department of your home improvement store. Again, use what you got. If you're thinking about brackets, think about this. This wood has deteriorated before the brackets that I used 10 years ago. And these are just cheap shelf brackets. So again, use what you got. These I found on the street. Someone's throwing out some furniture and I recycled the brackets. So you're recycling, recycling. Yeah. I keep throwing a ball. We're gonna be using these because this is what I have a bunch of. I'm also using a regular cordless drill with uh, coated deck screws. So this is my four foot piece and then I'm going to butt it to the long 12 foot piece. This is a two by 10. Then I'm gonna put the bracket in here and screw it in. This doesn't have to be perfect. It's gardening, we're not going to the moon. You can adjust the squareness of your bed after you assemble it. Plus it's going to be buried in dirt, right? It's going to have dirt in it. So. She found her ball. But again, I wanted to point out that the four foot piece is the out, so the outside width of your bed is gonna be four feet. That's gonna come in handy if you're going to be putting down some floating row fabric or plastic or something in your future. Learn from me. About your future? Well, everyone's future. <laughs> it helps to have two people do this. One to throw the ball. And operate the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Four is enough. Yeah, I think four screws are fine. You know, you can do as many as you want. It's, I've been doing this a while. They, they stick together pretty good. The screws will last longer than the wood. And I guess they don't have to be flush or anything. No, it's not fine carpentry. It's, we're making something so the plants can grow. All right. Woo-wee. Pretty good, huh? As far as leveling, I wouldn't be too hyper concerned while you're building it. You can dig a little bit under the soil to level this out. You'll find that after you put soil in here, some soil will come out the bottom and it'll be all good. All good. There you go. So the middle of your bed is gonna have a little bit of a wobble in it and to make that sturdy, I drive in just some scrap pipe I have. When you're gonna go, you want it below the level of your bed. Then take some, this is called banding or strapping. Then you put that strapping over the pipe and you want to connect back with the wood. Like that. Do your screws, are they coming out the other side or your screws were too small? No, these are inch and a quarter screws and oh. the wood is inch and three quarters deep, so they'll be just fine. 
There you go. Wobble free. You want to put that stabilizer pipe on both sides of the bed in the middle. Where you want the bed to be, it's final resting place. Don't put those pipes in before you figure out where the bed's going to go. Like we did. Like I did. If you don't have pipe, you could use rebar or some sort of angle bracket. You know, use what you got in the garage and drive it in and strap it in. What kind of soil do you fill your raised beds with? Good question. We actually, <laughs> uh, I think the best way to do it now is with what's called lasagna gardening method. Of course, we have a video about that. We built it at Brian's. There's a link below in the show notes here. Excuse me, ball throwing. Um, but with a raised bed, you kind of have this great opportunity to start new, and you don't have to truck in a ton of topsoil. You can use cardboard, newspaper, mulch, compost, all sorts of ingredients, which we talk about in that video, to build a bed that looks like this. If you don't want to do the lasagna gardening method and you want to keep the grass from sprouting up through your raised beds, you could lay down newspaper or better yet, some old cardboard, lay this in and that'll help to keep, that'll first of all, that'll kill all this grass and it'll help keep grass from growing up into your bed. They don't like cardboard? Uh, it, well, it'll kill it all and then the cardboard breaks down and basically becomes kind of compost. Mulchy. Yeah. Ball. Throw the ball. Nice, huh? So you've got your bed finished. You could also think about drip irrigation. We have a soaker hose video that I made about how to water your beds. But this is some lettuce we did, some seed starting. Of course, we have a video about that as well in the show notes. But I'm going to put these in now, and we're good to go. What do you think, huh? Let me know in the show notes your ideas about raised beds or questions or comments or whatever you're thinking about. This smells like great. It smells like salad. <laughs> All right, we put out new videos every week. Eclectic DIY is what I call it. It's whatever we do on the weekends with our dogs. They bark at us. But if you want to subscribe, show new shows every week. All right, so make it a great day. I'll see you later. It never ends.